Welcome to the Money Over 50 podcast, brought to you by Dallas Davison and Michael Hogue from Money Over 50 Financial Advisors. This information is general in nature and does not take into account your objectives, financial situation, or needs. Therefore, you should consider whether the information is appropriate for you and your personal circumstances. If you require personal advice, please contact Money Over 50 Financial Advisors. Here are your hosts, Dallas Davison and Michael Hogue. Welcome to Money Over 50. Today's topic, running out of money is not a valid strategy. Michael, your topic. Thanks, Dallas. So I saw some projections from an industry fund financial advisor and um, uh, just last week from a prospective client. Yeah. And, um, and and I've seen some projections like this before, usually from in, in-house industry fund advisors. And I'm certainly not suggesting that it's that all financial advisors do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's just what you saw. But it's just what I've seen. And, and, and that... The projections actually factor the the factor in the client running out of money yep. in retirement. Yeah. And when you look at the projections table, the projections table shows yeah. if you can imagine a series of, of bar charts yep. representing the where the, the income where the from. income is coming from. Yep. In what year of retirement. Now, what you see in the in the um, first year of retirement is that 100% of the bar charts coming from their Retire- retirement savings, so they're retirement account-based savings. pension. Yep. Um, about five years in, typically you start to see yep. a, a tiny little slither yes. of age pension come in. Yep. And um, what you then see yep. is, is that, that every that single crossover. year- They're spending um, more of their own retirement savings and then- and You see every single year pension. that bar chart start to- uh, even though that number's going up, what they're drawing in income is rising with inflation. Mm. What, what's taking over is that the percentage of money coming from the age pension yep. increases and the percentage of money coming from their yep. retirement savings decreases yep. such that eventually yep. the age pension takes completely over, Yes, which is usually around the time of their life expectancy. Yep. Um, yep. So what that tells me straight away is that their plan, their plan is to, um, run, out is to run out of money. Yep. Um, which we think is a dangerous plan. Yeah. And, so, and, so um, again, I certainly don't want this to be a bag out of other advisors, but I have seen this from 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 quite multiple, a few yes. in house industry fund advisors. Um, I'm just guessing here. I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking that because they. Um, not running their own business. Yes, they're not. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and and they tend to come and go. Yeah. The level of care, yeah. or the level of well, of of real care. Well, well that's it. Any, anyone who's a financial advisor like ourselves, or any yeah. other of the yeah you know, the, the 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 many good financial advisors running their own business around Australia, one of the worst fears ever. Yeah. Is to say you are running out of money. Yeah. So, so, yeah. And, I, and again, like I'm not suggesting there's no level of care there with no. with with but industry fund advisors or employed advisors or, or, but there is a high turnover rate. Yeah. Generally speaking, and, I, and um, yeah, I think that the, the 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 level of care may not be there in, in many in many situations. We just don't think that's a valid strategy. No. To um, one of the, one of the problems with that is that. A, you are running out of money, and it's very, very hard to project. Yes. Um, uh, when, when one is going to yeah, to, to leave the earth. Yeah. Uh, and, and so being, you can get that wrong. Yeah. Uh, number two, the age pension is in those financial planning software assumption yep. tools, as, as though it's black and white, as though it's this it, is it's set as in if it's stone. going to be a black, and it's indexed to extraordinary high levels. Yep. Like it, it, you see, yeah. you see, you know, the two thousand and forty three, yeah, uh, the year two thousand forty three age pension. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. making this, this not up, the, making yeah. this up, but yeah. it's, it's, it's eighty five thousand yeah, dollars yeah. for a couple. And you now, just go, that, that's yeah. um, what we know in recent history is on the first of January two thousand and seventeen. Anyone who is earning, um, say, a sixteen thousand dollar part age pension in Australia, yep. that got cut to around eight thousand. Also, got cut in half 
with the stroke of the government pen yeah. overnight. Yeah. So, so the assets test all we can go overnight. with. Yeah. All we can go with is modern history. So on the first of January yeah. two thousand and seventeen, yeah. um, what happened yeah. in in and it happened overnight yeah. from the thirty first of December yeah. two thousand and sixteen. Anyone who was getting sixteen thousand dollars a year, they got cut in half to about eight thousand dollars. So yeah. the um, the government actually changed the the reduction factor. They doubled the reduction factor for yeah. every thousand dollars of assets you had over the limit. over the over the the lower limit. So yeah. um, we we th- we think it's a really dangerous thing to to factor in yeah. to 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 assume that the age pension is going to stay as it is now, and it's going to stay at. It's going to stay at the level of, of payment that it is now and yep. the assets and income tests are going to stay the same as they are now. I mean, that's a really good point because you go, you know, history doesn't tell you everything, but but it's a it's a good guide. Like yep. over the last, you know, 10 years and longer, the age pension test has only gone one way. Mm. Like the amount that you get in age pension has gone down and yep. the assets test has made it harder and harder. Now, I don't know, I'd never, no one knows what, what governments are going to do, but I would be willing to take winks odds that they're not going to turn around and go. You know what? We're going to dial up the age pension. We're going to we're going to make the age pension easier to get, and we're going to pay way more money in in you know real terms. It's just it's it, only going one way. It's only going one way. Uh, uh, so so the the couple of th- the things that we know that's happened in the recent past is that the the age that you qualify has yeah, gone, up. gone up. Yeah. And the and the reduction factor yep. that um, reduces your age pension has 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 increased as well. A la the the people that were getting sixteen thousand yeah. dollars and that fell to about eight thousand dollars. If you're getting twenty thousand dollars, it fell to about eleven thousand dollars. Yeah. Um. So so the qualification age has gone up, hmm. and and, uh, and 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 what you qualify for it's has reduced. Yeah. The writing is on the wall. Yeah. For this thing. Yep. Um. And I don't want to cause anyone undue levels of stress or panic, but but well, here's where I think it's really dangerous, Dallas. But, but it's so, not so a, what this is, is the point. It's not undue. If the, you're stressing about this, you yeah, should be stressing about these this. These plans, these plans, what they what they what they what they done in in these plans that I've seen. So these financial plans that I'd seen from these yeah. um, and, and the various different industry fund in house financial advisors. Yep. What what they'd also done when I read when I read through it, um, they. They, shock horror, the person ended up in a balance fund. Yeah, <laughs> um, because their risk profile suggested yeah. they needed to be in yeah, a balance yeah, fund. Now, yeah. now, um, what that what that incurs, of course, is 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 some lazy money. Yes, and um, uh, one of the things that I thought that that the assumption of the age pension continuing on yeah. and continuing to be indexed into um, into uh, into perpetuity as well as the Assets test limits being mm. indexed up as well into yep. perpetuity, so that there was a, a big crossover point. What I think it does is, is it, is it, it, it's a little bit like giving your sixteen-year-old a hundred dollars a week in pocket money. Um, <laughs> there's just no, there's no incentive for them to go and get a job. Though. Yes, yeah. Uh, so, 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 yeah. so, what I mean by that. What yep. I mean by that, there's this assumption that this age pension is going to roll in yep. down the, down the so track. So, do you need to work your money you as hard money as you probably it? should? Uh, it, yeah. It's okay. You'll get some age pension. It's okay. You're going to get the age pension. You're going to yep. start to. Yep. It's going to start to really take over in yep. the future. And as you run your money down, yep. you're going to yeah, you're going to be Lower. living off this great lifestyle of yeah, yeah, eighty five thousand dollars of yeah, joint pension. age pension yep. in 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 two thousand and um, two thousand and forty three or whatever yeah. it is. Like, um, it, it it just it it yeah, it just it. It's the wrong assumption to make, and I think you you touched on a really good point there, though, of why we, we probably come across as the bad guys a lot of the time because we have the opposite conversation of this with people where they're going, well, you know, age, and, and it's not to say that there won't be any age pension or that there's, you know, if you're in that position where that's what you are reliant on, then mm. then there's nothing you can really do about it anyway, and so no. yeah, where we said running out of money is not a valid strategy unless you are definitely going to run out of money, and in mm. which case you have no other option anyway. Where I think this is really dangerous is, is the point you just touched on, which is that when you're 55 or, you know, e- even when you're at retirement, is that if you kind of use that as, well, age pension, I won't make any of the hard choices that I, that I, that I need to make. I won't, you know, we talked a lot about this the other day with trade-offs about if, if you disregard the age pension, and, and this is the, the way that we approach it, is to kind of go, look, 
you may well be eligible for some age pension at some stage in the future, but we are going to assume that you have to you have to cut your own lunch for yep. for the majority of your retirement. And so sometimes those sometimes the projections we're doing with people leading up to retirement are that yeah, you know, hey, you you you're on track to run out of money somewhere around age ninety. Now, mm. if you live to be a hundred, you've got to accept that. That's that's where you're going to run out. Now you may be eligible for some age pension from ninety to a hundred or, or whatever the case may be, but it's not going to be a it's not going to be a really rock star lifestyle. And no. so if if you need to make some hard decisions, make them now. Don't don't be trying to make them when you're ninety and going. Oh, the age pension isn't what I thought it'd be. So that's I think the the key here is that the point of the point of not planning to run out of money is, is not because you know. It's a risk for everyone, and it's mm. for some people they have no other options. But where I think it's dangerous is that it's a it's a um, what's, you know a comforting sort of a, it's a comforting lie if that makes sense. It, mm. You know, oh well, it's okay. You'll get this huge amount of age pension. Well, not a huge amount, but you'll get you'll get this age pension. It'll index forever, and it'll never go away, and it'll be okay. Whereas mm. it's a better approach, I would say, or a more realistic approach is to go well. Look, if you are if you are on track to run out of money, what can we do to to try and push that back as long as possible? What can yeah. we do to make sure that 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 happens as as late in your life as, as it can? And and you know, let's accept that yes, there there is a risk of that happening, but we're going to try and do everything we can to minimise the effect of that. And then if we do get some age pension right at the very end, then fantastic, that's good. But we're not going to be purely reliant on that the whole way through. Yeah, and certainly, look, we're all about qualifying for whatever you can qualify for. Mm. And and we have clients that are on part age pensions now. Yeah. Um, um, when we, even, and this is true of, even of people that are attaining age pension age in three or four years, yeah. um, if we think they can qualify yeah. for that now, it's not even part of the plan no. at this stage because yeah. we treat it as a true bonus. Yeah. Um, um, one thing, I mean, one thing we know for certain is that is that what people estimate that they're going to spend in retirement is is um, is they they get it wrong on the downside yeah. usually because they don't factor in yeah. things like um, the the work you've got to put into your house and yeah. things like that yeah. in retirement. So um, yeah, so we tend to, we yeah. know that there's going to be more money needed yeah. some, from somewhere, so we tend not to to build in the age pension yeah. as part of the yes. As part of the, uh, we treat it as a true bonus, even though we will, we we do everything we can to qualify. Mm. We do we do everything we can to qualify our clients for that without losing right. money to qualify for that. Yeah. If you know what I mean, yeah. or, or blowing money to qualify yeah. for that. So it, it is so. A, it's an interesting. Uh, you got to hold those two conflicting things in your head where. Mm. You're working a plan that assumes no age pension, while at the same time structuring things in a way where, if we can get some age pension, how we're going yeah. to try and make that happen. Yep. And, but I, yeah, I think you're right. Like, I've, I've got some clients who are a year out from retirement, and and for those guys, you're kind of going, yeah, like we're a year away. That's we we probably can we probably can rely on this much age pension next year. Mm. But it, but even for those clients, I'm going. Well, we know what the age pension is that you're probably going to get in a year's time, but we don't know what that's going to be in five years' time because mm. a we don't know what your retirement savings going to be, but 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 b we definitely don't know what the rules are going to be. The rules may well have changed by then. So, mm. I think that's it, it's exactly right. I think where uh, if you look at our our incentives um, is that the last the, our our big fear is someone coming coming in you know us having a client for the next 20 years and then having to say to them in 10 years time or 20 years time hey we thought you were going to get this but you're not so now you don't have enough money to live on like that's mm. that's our big fear whereas if you're not if you're not planning to work with people on an ongoing basis sometimes it's it's easy to be a bit glib about that and kind of go oh, you'll probably be fine you'll get some age pension and away you go and they yeah. feel good about it and you sort of feel good about it because you haven't had to you know, be the bad guy there. So mm. that's that's I think one where I'd rather be the bad guy now and and have someone leave a bit miffed, going, "Well, I thought I was going, I thought you were going to give me better news than what you've given me," rather mm. than have them come back in five or ten years' time and blame me for yeah for the comfortable lie that I've sort of told them. Absolutely. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening to the Money Over Fifty podcast with Money Over Fifty Financial Advisors. We look forward to catching up again soon.